Now if I was a better shot, or if I trained a lot harder, I could be in the running to win New Zealand's oldest sporting prize, the Ballinger Belt. It's as highly prized today as it was in 1861 when the contest began. At the time, Māori and Pākehā were fighting over land. Men needed to practice their aim, which sparked rifle competitions around the country. Unlike the Ballinger Belt contest, most haven't lasted, but Te Papa has another way to remember the sharpshooters. Oh, this is a Colt Navy revolver. It's 0.36 calibre, which is in the old measurement, it's 0.36 of an inch. It's a six-chamber revolver, and the reason they're called Navy revolvers is that if you look very closely at the cylinder, you will see there's an engraving um, put on at the factory. It shows a scene of a, of a naval battle between ships of, believe it or not, the Texan Navy and the Mexican Navy. One of the admirals of the Texan fleet was a personal friend of Samuel Colt, the inventor of these revolvers. It's small and it's quite faint because of the, the tended to be rub off with the, the use that this weapon has, has been given over time. There's an interesting story with the marking on the what they call the butt strap here. It says Taranaki Government Prize number seven, which means that it's the seventh of the batch of 15 and the local militia and volunteers shot in 1865 in a shooting match for prizes. The, the, these revolvers were prizes for the, marks, the marksmanship in the, in the competition. The actual report of the shooting match was published in the local newspaper of the Taranaki Herald and number seven was won by a man named Corporal W. Henley who was a member of the Taranaki military settlers. At some stage he had some sort of relationship with a Māori person who was willing to carve the butt with the traditional style of carving known as a rauponga pattern. But you've got to bear in mind that their motive for fighting in the, in the wars in Taranaki was essentially to settle on confiscated land. So what's in, this is one of the intriguing things about this, this particular gun, is that relationships can sometimes get a bit complex. One of the first battles of the Taranaki Wars was in Wairika in 1860. The Taranaki Rifle Volunteers became the first colonial volunteer unit to actually fight against an enemy. New Zealand was a British colony and there was a small garrison of British regular troops. These were, you know, um, soldiers, British soldiers under, you know, formal military discipline. But it was also a responsibility of the local settlers to see to their own defence. The New Zealand government encouraged settlers, particularly in North Island, to form volunteer units in the case of what they called, in the language of the day, armed rebellion by the natives. But what the volunteers and militias lacked overall was formal military training. That's where the regulars came in. They had their formal drills and tactics. The volunteers tended to be more amateurish, if you like, but not lacking in enthusiasm, because they say, because basically it was their lives that were at stake. 260 people died during the Taranaki campaigns, including 64 soldiers. The winners took away valuable prizes in the Taranaki shooting competitions, but in the land wars, the stakes were much higher.